Well, a week ago tomorrow marks the time when what has been described by some as biblical rains began falling across western North Carolina and the southern Appalachian Mountains, causing flooding and devastation not seen in some areas in generations. Liam Healy spoke with Heather Taylor, a former Rochester resident today, about her experience before, during, and after the storm. Once we discovered, though, that the phones were off and we couldn't send text messages out and we were feeling like we were on an island, um, we couldn't reach our friends, we couldn't reach our family. Um, all we had was we could walk to neighbors' houses. For many, that is still the reality, with basic services such as water, power, and cellular signals still hard to come by in the most heavily impacted areas nearly a week later. What we were hearing was... Um, <laughs> Not really a lot, to be honest. Like we we had to tune into the uh, tune into the radio um, to really hear about the magnitude. The rain had started nearly 36 hours before Helene made landfall on the Florida coast Thursday night, as the outer bands of the storm interacted with the Appalachian Mountains and sold out front draped across the region. So there was a bunch of rain before the hurricane even started. And so there's floods already starting to happen in different areas. So that took away a day of prep for certain people. Um, and then the hurricane hit. From there, as communications were down and many aspects of life that many take for granted and washed away, all they could do was focus on how to survive and make it to the next task. We could get in the car, but we weren't sure about landslides. We heard through the grapevine there might be some gas somewhere. So we ended up driving around for a while. Some people were parked out of gas stations just out of the hope that they would turn on. I think it took two to three hours. Like these small little activities were taking half of a day. While well, some of the initial rush has ended and more and more rescuers and relief is pushing into Western North Carolina, the road ahead is longer than many can even imagine. Well, I know a lot of people are trying to see if they can come down themselves physically, but the main thing right now is to get out. Um, so that we're not congesting the roads and so we're not putting anybody else in danger. I think that donating what you can, any any little thing would be amazing. Um, but right now the relief efforts are happening with the bigger organizations. Now, this just goes on to barely scratch the surface of the magnitude of this event. It is one of the deadliest tropical systems on record, surpassed by only a few storms. Relief will be ongoing for months and years in some of these communities. We do have links to resources where you can donate, as well as to some organizations that Heather herself passed along that are working to help to return life to as normal as it can be right now.